Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company and I thought today, by the way, happy Friday to you. I thought I would just kind of share with you guys some updates of stuff that we've been working on. Yeah, just kind of like show you what we're up to, uh, stuff that we've been working on, where we put it. Yeah, all those sorts of things. And as well, a update on the new paint colors that are coming up and also those of you who have been asking, can we see some more video of those kitchen cabinets that you just painted? So all that's coming up today. Oh my gosh, guys, what a gorgeous day. So if you were a part of the vlog with us where we went out and we found some awesome pumpkins and straw bales, all that good stuff, this is where I ended up putting it, right below my house number here. By the way, I painted this in Rock Lobster and it looks fantastic. But yeah, pumpkins in pots. I painted these with a gray anatomy. Um, so yeah, pumpkins in pots. Love it. Easy peasy, right? And there's the view from the other side. How about some more pumpkins in pots over here below my lamppost? I've got a sweet little girl scarecrow at the top right here. And I put the, the um, corn stalks around my lamppost. So I think that looks fabulous right there. Just kind of like put them in different ways. Honestly, I, if I could find some bats or something like that, I would be sticking them into my hay bales right now. Just like, you know, bats on sticks. Who knows where to get some? And this is my sweet little girl scarecrow. Look, she's smiling. She's saying, oh, what a gorgeous Friday it is, Sonia. Uh, she's got some beautiful lavender pants, a yellow shirt. I just love her. And speaking of wonderful stuff in the yard, we love finding weird stuff when we're out and about and Matt was mowing the lawn and he came across this gigantic weird mushroom growing out of the ground. It was so big and he's like, hey Sonia, you gotta come out here and check this out. So check this out. Have you ever seen one like this before? We left it out in the sun while we were gone. Can I get one of those and it's gonna be a huge puff. Holy smokes. Remember. Stanley, are you looking at that big beautiful beast in the mirror? Kitty kitty, what is it? It's like the size of our cat. <laughs> And speaking of finding stuff out and about, I gotta show you in just a little bit a awesome little spot. If you're ever up here in the nor Northeast, you'll have to check out uh, just a little walking trail with some gorgeous views and ducks. So stay tuned. I'll show you that in just a second. But first, do you remember when we worked in the dining room and we took that little white stand out? We painted that in a gorgeous vintage white. We did some antiquing with it on it. It was gorgeous. But I moved it out to make space for the Berry Dance Hutch. Well, here's an update. Here's where I ended up putting that little white stand and I think it worked out quite nice. So this is where I ended up putting this right here. Fit perfectly in this little nook right there. I had a small gray table there, but honestly putting the white piece here with the um, darkened antique look, bless you, in place here, um, I feel like it really lightened up this space. And then I just moved the whole thing right here and it fit perfectly. Actually, it matches up quite nice with this chair that I painted with this cool plaid look. Who remembers doing that with me? This is my little Harry Potter cupboard, the little room under the stairs. What do you think? You like it? So yeah, I'm always moving stuff around, right? You put something somewhere and then you find another piece of junk that might fit that space better. It is like just a game of constantly rotating and it's fun to do so, right? So sometimes you might not hit on the perfect thing for that space, but you make it work. But then when you do find the right thing, you're like, ha ha, we're gonna move this around. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. So this week we painted the bathroom black as an update. Matt loves it. And then my son came down and I said, hey, um, what do you think? When you go in the bathroom in there, it's going to look a little bit different. And he described it, this is what he described it. He said, it's a lot easier on the eyes, right? It is. It's just that moody, dark, I don't know. We're just cave dwellers in this house. We love, yeah, we just love coziness. We love the cozy. So while I was working on that bathroom, I was also at the same time working on my kitchen. I decided to change it up. And so I mentioned that in a vlog this week. So I thought I'd give you an update as to where my kitchen looks right now and where it is. So 
So I had painted it in a color we have called Ducky in the spring. You watch me that. I did live videos while I was working on that. You'll go back and find those um, on my social media channels. This was like a overnight thing that I did while I was painting the bathroom black overnight. So this was one of those things that I just was, let's just do it. So I grabbed the Grey's Anatomy and I went all over it. I love it. And I've got a little bit left to do. You saw around the kickboard, around the bottom. Um, and then I'll just like do kind of like any touch-ups and just get it all in place with any decorations I want to put on the wall or change anything around. But I am loving where it's at. Yeah, if you want it, want it to be a different color, just paint it a different color, right? Stay up late, turn the music on, and just knock it out. Oh yeah, talking about colors, I just remembered. I needed to give you guys an update on the three new colors that we have. Oh my gosh, you guys, a couple weeks ago, we launched a pre-order of three new colors, gingerbread, sugar plum, and also a new clear tintable glaze, all right? Which means that if you take those Grey's Anatomy cabinets, I could take my clear tintable glaze, put a little bit of Junk Monkey paint into it, and then um, I could antique it with any color that I want, or I could do any custom glaze over paint look that I wanna do, right? So that's real cool. I'm excited to play with that myself when everything gets made, which is, guess what guys? This is the week that everything is finalizing getting made. So when we announced those three colors, we said that right around October the 12th should be the day that we will receive word that they are ready to go and that is happening. We just got an update today here on Friday that everything is cluing up, everything's on track, which means that all of your orders for your pre-orders will be going out next week. So we will be sending out orders in the, um, in the what's the word? in the order in which they arrive. So if you were one of the first people to get your pre-order in, get your pre-order, you are one of the first people to get a pre-order in, then you are gonna be one of the first people to get the mail out of the new stuff. So here are again, are the three colors. Fun things to play with so that's an update so if you have gotten in on an order watch for a tracking number coming to you this week so get your projects ready okay the last thing I wanted to share with you guys and this is kind of like I figure this is a good thing to leave for the end because it's Friday it's the weekend I hope you guys are getting out to just go scout around the local neighborhood go take a trail go take a drive there's no better feeling than getting out going taking going to take a drive and you don't even know sometimes what the end result is going to be like oh there's somebody biking I would love to do some biking this weekend. I think it might be in the future. But yeah, just to take a drive, you never know where you're gonna go. You just take maybe roads that you've never taken before. I guarantee you, you get out, you'll have some good conversation. You'll probably meet some great people along the way um, who are happy to be out just like you and in a great mood on the trails and things like that. Yeah, just take a trail and it doesn't even have, even have to cost anything, right? Just do a free trail. So um, after moving to this area up here near Lake Erie, there are so many trails and things to do. And so on the weekends, we, we go find a new place to go and sightsee. So here is a place that we found in Spartansburg. Spartansburg, oh my gosh. Oh, it was beautiful, look at this. Hey buddy, what are you doing? I didn't even see him. He blended it right in. Oh my gosh, look at his waddle. This one right here? What do you call them? Snap, snap dragons? He flicked. Yeah, he flicked before yeah, I even yeah, got to get my fingers around it. Barely touched it. Just yeah. All right, friends. Well, I am out of here. I hope you have a terrific weekend. I will see you guys again soon. Do something you love and go bananas while you're doing it. All right. Take care. See you soon. Bye.